Bradford for your outstanding service to the amateur astronomical community and the public to outreach. You've been selected by a group of amateur astronomers from Northern California. We think you're the most worthy to re receive this award and have enjoyed your lively debunking myths, enthusiasm, lectures, blogs, podcasts, and years of volunteer service that you never got recognized for. Congratulations, Phil. Wow, well, thank you. When you say it all like that, it sounds like I really did something. <laughs> now, in the debunking vein, I can only see you on the camera. I don't really know if there's anybody there. That could have been yeah, Canada. I could probably lift this whole thing around, and you can see the audience upside down. Oh, look, there's, a, there's don't a big do dome. That. Don't do that. I mean, you want to see my dome? I was going to turn it. There's hey. my dome. There you go. You know, I was what? getting all my light, lighting balanced in here. It's tough when you're a you know, balding white astronomer guy like everybody else. But I am, I am, honestly, I'm really uh, thrilled and honored to get this. This is excellent. Uh, all the years I spent here in California, I had such a great time, and the website really took off while I was out there. And a lot of the, a lot of the work I did was out in California, finishing up the book and, and getting all this stuff done. And you know, it goes to show you that uh, you know, on the web, even a slacker can do really well. And uh, uh, honestly, you know, if, if I can do it, anybody can. So there I, you urge, go. I really urge everybody just to get out there. You're already doing it. Like, you're going to star parties and doing this kind of stuff. But just get out there and talk to people. That's, I found that that's really all it takes. So, Phil, you want to shamelessly promote your book that you're writing? Yeah, I wish I had a copy of it. Two minutes, yeah, because about that would mean I was done. Um, um, but I'm actually in the throes of finishing it. It's called Death from the Skies. And it's all the different ways astronomical events can wipe out life on Earth. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm putting the final touches on the supernova chapter, which is chapter three out of ten, if that gives you any idea of how serious these get. Um, the, the asteroid impact, that's, that's easy stuff. That's chapter one. Um, yeah, wait till you read the Gamma Ray Burst chapter. Yeah, I had a hard time sleeping for about three weeks after I wrote that. Um, but it's, it's, it's a lot of fun actually thinking about it, and it'll be out next year sometime eventually. <laughs> That's about the, the best I can do. Well, thanks very much, Phil. We're going to cut you off now. Oh, okay. So, uh, well, I really appreciate this again. I am totally thrilled this is going to go up on my wall. Great. Thank you, Phil. Thanks that again, Phil. Really cool. Thank you, everybody. Really cool. <laughs> All right, we'll see you. Thanks. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.